It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, June the 16th. I'm James Spann. Hot, muggy conditions today and tomorrow with scattered storms, but the weekend will feature a much drier air mass. Check things out. There's the water vapor satellite view early this morning. And we've got a fairly high amplitude pattern developing, big trough in the west, ridging over the central states, and a northwest flow aloft. And those can be tricky. Those can pull down thunderstorm masses from the north. We had that big one last night that blew through here. But this morning, things are relatively quiet. That was the radar at 510. A couple of thunderstorms over Coleman, Morgan, and Madison counties, and that's it. We do think showers and storms should be less numerous today. Temperatures are around 70 in most spots as the day begins. We'll expect a high up in the middle 90s. It'll be pretty hot and muggy today. Uh, west of the state, all those counties in orange, those are heat advisories. For Arkansas, Louisiana, eastern half of Texas, the Mississippi Delta, got uh, excessive heat warnings in effect for parts of Oklahoma, including Oklahoma City and Tulsa. And the southwest will be baking. They've got excessive heat warnings. And again, Phoenix might make a run at 120 in a few days. Convective outlook for today. We have an enhanced risk northeast of the state for parts of West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, all of Alabama, all 67 counties in a marginal risk. And that's not to say that all 67 counties are going to get rain today. They won't. The storms will be fewer in number, but where they form, they could pack a punch. And then tomorrow, there's a risk across the Deep South, including the standard slight risk in Alabama generally east of a line from Tuscaloosa to Monroeville and Evergreen. Now, that includes places like Clanton, Alexander City, Montgomery, Dothan, Enterprise. And surrounding that, most all of the state, again, in a marginal risk. And again, not everybody's going to see rain tomorrow, but where storms do form, they will be strong. Then on day three, the northern half of the state getting into very dry air. Uh, this is the rain for the next five days. Really not that much for North Alabama. And some spots could miss the storms completely today and tomorrow. You know how that works. Numbers a little higher down south. Let's go in there and check it out. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars, troughing in the northwest and the northeast, ridging in between. And these synoptic scale maps just won't help. Uh, the thunderstorm coverage and placement driven by small mesoscale processes that are, you just can't pick out here. But what's going to happen today, the air will be hotter than yesterday. And again, we're expecting mid-90s, a uh, pretty decent amount of sun. That makes the air unstable and storms will form, but they will be very widely scattered later today. This is the high-resolution HER at 6 o'clock, and there's just not much there. Uh, so a lot of you will not see rain today. But again, because of the instability where the storms do form, they could be very strong, maybe a wet microburst in spots. So we'll watch for radar trends. Now, tomorrow, a surface front will be coming in here. And uh, again, with those surface boundaries, they can stir up some pretty big storms in summer. We don't see surface fronts that often. A uh, better chance will be tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, hot and muggy with mid-90s. And again, the main issue, wet microbursts. But Saturday, we get into dry air. Uh, the uh, numbers should drop. We're expecting highs back in the upper 80s. Dew points coming down. Any showers over the southern half of the state. And Sunday looks beautiful statewide. Sunny, uh, we start the day well down in the 60s. The high will be in the mid to upper 80s. And the humidity will be low. Check out the precipitable water. Those brown shades, very odd to see that here in summertime. So enjoy the lower dew points this weekend. And no showers to worry about. Monday, we stay dry. Uh, highs 87 to 90. And Tuesday, we're going to the European here because for some reason the GFS output was not available. So this is a model flip, but it's very consistent. Uh, Tuesday looks pretty dry. Mostly sunny with a high around 90. Wednesday, evidence of maybe another surface boundary trying to push in here. And if this verifies, there might be a few scattered storms. And this is Thursday, looking relatively dry. 
But again, there could be a northwest flow type set up with a storm mass coming in from the uh, north and west later in the day. So by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, we'll bring back the chance of at least scattered storms with highs in the low 90s. Here's a look at the upper pattern for Thursday. Man, look at the 597 heat ring west of the state. Thank goodness that thing stays west. And again, you can see troughing over the northeast. And again, that's a northwest flow setup there. So we'll have to watch for thunderstorm masses rolling down from the northwest. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday, June 25th. And again, thankfully, the core of the heat is to the west. And again, that would suggest pretty typical weather with a chance of maybe a few scattered showers and storms. Numbers off the European, really not that bad. Uh, it's got us in the upper 80s on Saturday and Sunday. Then for next week, a couple of days with low 90s, but it backs the high down to 85 on Saturday, June 25th. So the good news at this point, we see no sign of any really excessively hot weather. By that, I mean upper 90s or hotter over the next 10 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.